Hello all. In this video, we shall see the usage and testing of Tharang XB modules. These Tharang modules are manufactured by Melange Systems Bangalore and are Series 1 XB modules. Series 1 complies with the 802.15.4 IEEE protocol and operate at 2.4 GHz frequency band. There is also Series 2 modules that are using uh, Zigbee protocol and series 1 use uh, 802.15.4 protocol you cannot mix both of this there are breakout modules where you can uh, plug in this Tharang modules there are two types of breakout modules one is uh, USB breakout module and another one is uh, RS232 breakout module. This uh, RS232 breakout modules, they require external power supply. An external power adapter should be connected here, ranging from 5 to 12 volts. As such, Tharang modules operate at 3.3 volt DC. So, in all these breakout boards, there is a 3.3 volt regulator. This uh, USB breakout module is uh, very handy. It uh, doesn't require any external power supply. It uh, utilizes the power from the USB source itself. So we'll be making use of this uh, USB breakout module in this video. In this USB breakout module, at the back side, you can easily recognize the ground point this broad patch is the ground point so this ground point is pin 10 of Tharang module so this, bo this broad patch is uh, ground point and this is the pin 10 if you go to the if you go to the front point this is the pin 10 So this is the pin 10 which is ground and if you see the Tharang module you can see the printout small printout is there pin 10 this is pin 1 so plug in properly into the sockets so that ground and VCC do not change so this is the position of the Tharang module on uh, USB dongle. This is the small uh, antenna stick down to the Tharang module. Now connect one of the Tharang module to one USB port of your PC. This one goes to one of the USB ports of your PC. And connect another Tharang module to another port of your PC. This one goes to your second port or USB port of your PC. As soon as you connect the Tharang modules to your PC, you can see the LED is glowing. One LED is glowing here. We are going to use TMFT software. TMFT is Tharang multifunction tool and the software is used for uh, configuring Tharang modules. TMFT is proprietary of uh, Melange Systems Bangalore and this is an excellent software. Fire of TMFT. This is the opening window of TMFT. This has already recognized your uh, serial ports. One is allotted COM13, another one is allotted COM14. To verify these ports, you can open up the device manager and confirm the allotment of ports. If you open up the device manager from the control panel and scroll down to 
ports there you can see the usb serial port com13 another one is allotted com14 one tarang module is connected at com13 another one is connected at com14 if this is not recognized then you have to download the ftdi drivers FTDI devices are responsible for uh, providing VCP, virtual COM port for your USB. You can Google for FTDI and download the drivers. As such, FTDI devices are used in USB dongles where you are connecting the Tarang module. First, we are going to configure the Tarang module at COM13. You confirm that the selection is serial port and port settings are 9600 8N1. Data bit is 8, parity is none, stop bit is 1. And click query modem. So TMT has uh, detected one Tarang modem at COM13. Hardware version is 2 and firmware version 1.7. Tarang utility is net. It is not mesh, it is net. Click OK. And in the same TMFT software, there is a modem configuration. There you can select the series of Tarang module. We are going we are using Tarang F series and utility is net. And if you select serial interfacing, you can see the parameters. Here you can uh, read, write or restore the configurations. There is also a terminal incorporated within TMFT. This uh, terminal is very useful to send or receive data. Now you keep this uh, terminals aside. At the bottom you can see transmit and receive indicators. Receive is uh, shown in uh, green LED and the transmit is shown in uh, red LED and line status is CTS clear to send port is COM13 border rate is 9600 8N1 now, now fire up the second instance of TMFT software click again TMFT so a second instance of uh, TMFT is opening now we are going to configure the COM14 port click serial port and port setting should be 9608 N1 click on COM14 click query modem Now TMFT has detected another Tarang modem at COM14. Now the hardware version is uh, 3.2, firmware version is 1.7. Click OK. Keep these two terminals side by side. Click on COM13 terminal. Type some text. You can see the text is received uh, under COM14. The transmit text is in red indication and the uh, receive text is in green indication. Same way if you click on COM14 and type some text, it will be received under COM13. We have established communication between two Tarang XB radios and using the terminal software of uh, TMFT we are communicating. So, under this terminal software you have the facility to transmit file. To test this fa facility you create a notepad. You open up notepad and type some text. Welcome to the world of XB radios. You save this file as uh, Say welcome dot text.
and save it on your the desktop now close this notepad file click on com13 terminal you click transmit file and browse down to the location where you stored that welcome doc uh, text here it is welcome doc uh, welcome dot text click on that click open now you can see the contents of the uh, notepad are transmitted to the com14 ter terminal